Hey everybody, this is Lady C coming straight from my living room. Welcome to my quarantine. So one of the challenges I think for dancers is that we are used to doing our art form in large spaces. And now being confined to our homes, especially in Toronto, uh, we're in very small spaces now. And so, you know, luckily I'm fortunate I have kind of a big space for Toronto anyways. Uh, I have enough room to sort of jump around if I move some furniture out of the way. I've got a hardwood floor. So that's been a huge savior to me to be able to dance. Um, so I've been trying to do that as much as possible just by myself, put music on, get down. Uh, I've been experimenting with live streaming a little bit. Um, something I've never done, something I don't even know if I was open to before, but it has given me a sense of connection with the world because, you know, a large part of street dance specifically is about the connection with people around you. It's about the community. It's about exchange of energy. So that's something I think probably street dancers are struggling with to be alone and isolated at this time. So the, the internet and social media, Instagram has been really helpful to myself and I think a lot of other people in that in that respect. The other side of my artistic practice is actually in music so I've had the time now to spend on that and I've picked up my guitar again. I have a home recording set up um, so I've been working on some projects with my music. I have uh, my first full-length album coming out soon so while people are spending a lot of time online, I've used that as an opportunity to do a live stream preview of the album. So, you know, music is, is a really big part of my life and always has been as a dancer and as a person. I collect music. I have music in my house all the time. And especially now, that's been really helping me through it. This is actually my mother's record right here. Uh, she was in a band called Appleshine in the 70s and they put out this record that they pressed in Canada. That's her right there. And my father's a musician too. I play music with him sometimes. And so uh, my parents were a huge influence with my music and also my dance. My mom was a dancer too. So yeah, very, very cool for me to have connections to my lineage. I've also been exploring new things. I bought a sewing machine, so I've been learning how to sew, making a quilt out of all my old hip hop t-shirts. Uh, I've been reading, I've just been taking care of myself, doing the things that I didn't have the brain space or the time for. Um, I've been spending some of my time at my sister's house, who's also a dancer, Saxon Fraser. And you know, we've just been having fun, working out, um, and just trying to be in this together and enjoy it in some way. I think it goes without saying that this time is incredibly scary, uncertain and unprecedented. So we don't have any type of a resource or a historical context to help us understand how to get through this. So I think we're all just doing the best we can with what we have. And what I have is my art form. So I'm really using this as an opportunity to reconnect with that what connected it to my heart and soul in the first place and how can it help me heal how can it help my community heal and anybody else out there that it makes you feel positive when i share some of my art um, i think the arts are incredibly incredibly important and necessary for healing and that is what we need right now so thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting the arts Please stay safe, stay inside, and stay up.